Welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to use the format date time function in FR3 report, which is used to convert a date value into a string format for use in SQL queries. For this video, we'll demonstrate how to use this function to capture the total outstanding invoice amount for a customer up to sales invoice date. Let's get started. Step 1, Declaration Variable. The first step is to declare a string variables to store the formatted date. VAR stands for variable, SQL will store the SQL query, D will store the formatted date result as a string. Step 2, Explanation on Format Date Time Function. To assign variable D, click on Functions tab, find the Format Date Time from the Formatting folder, select Format Date Time and double-click it to add in the code page. The Format Date Time function is used here to convert the value into a string format. The format parameter specifies the desired date format, which is year, month, day. The date time parameter represents the value to be formatted. Main, dot date, retrieves the invoice date from the report. Step 3, construct the SQL query. The SQL query is built dynamically and stored in the variable SQL. To calculate the total outstanding amount, sum the difference between document amount and payment amount. Type in document amount minus payment amount. Use cast AS real converts the result into a float real number to ensure consistent numeric precision. From AR underscore IV specifies the table where the data is located. For filtering sales invoice date, use dot date, less than or equal to to capture the outstanding amount up to invoice date, quoted string and pass in D. To exclude cancelled invoices, set cancel to false. To group the total outstanding by customer, group the SQL query by code. Step 4, Add Dataset in and Link to Method. The Add Dataset function is used to create a new table named PL underscore ARIV. The data you selected in the field will show in the data tree. Use get DB data to retrieve the data directly from the SQL account database. The Link to Method ensures that the PL underscore ARIV dataset match the corresponding customer details in the main dataset. In the link to method, master pipeline represents the data pipeline in the main page, master fields represents the main data field in the current pipeline. Detail field corresponds to the field in the secondary data pipeline, link to the main using the keyword code, click save on the top left corner, then reopen the fast report. Step 5. Results. Select the text object, put it at the desired place. Pull the outstanding amount from the data tree. Click OK, then save the report. Thus, you can see in the report that the total outstanding invoice amount is shown. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.